A last minute effort to ease California's insurance crisis appears to have failed. That means no relief in sight for homeowners struggling to get coverage. Rumors have been swirling about a potential legislative deal to keep insurance companies from bailing on California. The deadline is passed for it to come together in time for the end of the legislative session tomorrow. Consumer advocates say that's a good thing, saying it essentially would have been a bailout for the industry that could have led to huge rate increases. So we've been reporting for months how major insurers have been cutting coverage in California, blaming devastating wildfires, increasing costs, and then strict regulation. The exodus has left homeowners scrambling. Our Katie Nielsen talked to one Livermore resident who got dropped by her insurance company, not because of wildfires, but for a water damage claim. Everybody has a pool in their backyard and we're all cement here. So there's really no fire risk. This is the west side Livermore neighborhood Sherry Ramsell is talking about. She's lived off Concannon Boulevard for 17 years. Her home insured with Mercury Insurance since the day they moved in. She said they never had a major problem until one morning last December. The float on the back of the toilet stuck. I didn't even know that could happen. And um, it flooded everything in here. That water making its way into the walls, water cabinets, carpets, and subfloor. We did discuss, ooh, if we turn in a claim, we're gonna, our rates are going to go up. But... We had to do something because we didn't know how extensive the mold was. The total cost to repair the water damage was about $35,000, okay, so paid for food. by Mercury Insurance. Then California. last week, she got a letter from Mercury. It says, notice of non-renewal. Your insurance coverage will terminate on November 24th. They were getting dropped by their insurance company. And the reason why? Non-renewal underwriting reasons, loss history. Sherry said she was just mad when she got the letter. We didn't really realize how bad it was gonna be. We thought, okay, well, we, now we gotta find a new insurance company. And, but then when we started calling, we realized, uh-oh, we're in trouble. Yeah, I think you're gonna see a lot more of that. Fred Fisher is an insurance consultant. He said consumers are having a really difficult time finding a new insurance company for homeowners insurance across California even in areas that aren't considered a high fire risk, like Sherry's neighborhood in Livermore. That's because three major insurance companies, State Farm, Allstate, and Farmers, have all publicly announced they are not writing any new policies for any homes anywhere in the state, saying they're paying out too much money in fire losses. Insurance companies cannot survive every having natural disaster and huge losses year after year after year. It, it's unsustainable. As for Sherry, she says she's done with California and is already packing up to move to Nevada to be closer to her daughter. This was kind of the last straw that uh, made us want to go. But until she can get the house sold, she still has to find new insurance. And we can't not have it. So we'll just keep calling until we find somebody. Insurance experts say this problem with homeowners insurance is not going away anytime soon and could eventually impact the millions of people who live across the state. The option of last resort is the California Fair Plan, which offers basic fire insurance for people who can't purchase a policy on the traditional market. So Katie did reach out to Mercury Insurance. They say they're looking into the situation with that specific homeowner's policy. Well, last week, Consumer Watchdog called on the state attorney general to investigate possible collusion to leverage higher prices in the industry. Founder Harvey Rosenfield told us he believes companies are trying to derail Prop 103, which controls insurance rates in California. I'm convinced that this is all about an attempt by the insurance companies in the guise of climate change and wildfire to get a, a, a the ability to avoid what the voters mandated, which is fair pricing in insurance. The insurance industry is basically holding a gun to our head and saying, you need to capitulate and pay the ransom or else we're going to fire the gun at you. We're going to leave the state. Well, Rosenfield says without any bill, companies will now try to put pressure on the state's insurance commissioner. Buddy says consumer advocate groups have been left out of the conversation so far. 
We've reached out to the insurance commissioner. We have not heard back yet, but he told the Bay Area News Group that legislation is just one of many options. He said we are also moving forward with a package of regulatory solutions that will streamline the department's rate review process, opening it to equitably to public input, not just the entrenched interests that have benefited materially from the status quo. We will stay on top of this.